Corinthians 3 and 16. What's the what's your what's your aim? Give me one second. I'll go there, but I want to pull this out real quick because no, I, we can go right back there. We still got the Bible in the hand. We got we got time, but I want to show you something because we're bringing out the commandments of God. We're bringing out the things that we must do to get ourselves right in the eyesight of, of the Most High God. We we go there. We go there, but I want to show you this first. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. Bring it out. Ye not that ye are the temple of God. The nation of Israel is the temple of God. Meaning when we keep in his commandments, the spirit of God dwells in us. Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. That's what he means. He said, don't you know that you're the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you? Right. When we keep in, we're not keeping the commandments, the spirit of God ain't dwelling in us. Because we're doing against what he said. But when we keep in his commandments, we align what he say to do. He dwells in us. Read. And if any man defiled the temple of God. It says if any man defiled the temple of God. What does it mean to defile? To go against my brother Murphy. What does it mean to defile? Huh? What does it mean to defile? If you defile something. Say go against the... What's, what's your name, my young man? Young man. Young man, young man. What did y'all know? What y'all know means? We're gonna show you. Defile means to destroy. If any man defile, you do damage. You do damage to something. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. So if you destroy, harm, hurt the temple of God, which is the nation of Israel, our bodies. Read. Him shall God destroy. It says, Him shall God destroy. So if you destroy your temple. God gonna destroy your temple. What are some ways that we destroy our, our bodies? What are some ways we destroy our bodies, Murphy? Smoking, not eating right. Bring it out. Fornicating. Smoking. And you're smoking, bro. You put that down. You. The thing about it is, on the side of the, on the. I, no, you come as you am and you change. That's right. I get you. But the, 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 box, the, box, the cigarette box says that it causes cancer. You know what that cancer is? You know what cancer is? That's God destroying your body. So the, the cigarettes are no good for you. But there's other cigarettes too. We name them. But we are out here showing the showing our, the Bible to our people in a way that our people never heard the Bible being taught. Because the things that's in the Bible pertain to our and the things that we see every single day. We understand that yeah, we are still getting ourselves together, but we 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 have been doing it for some years and we got we got we a little further along, so to say. Not saying we never slip up, but we if we slip, we get back up and correct it. That's right. But things that's going on in our community is in the Bible. And we're giving the solutions to get up out of those things. Isaiah 58 verse 1. Cry aloud. So the Bible tells us to cry aloud. That's why we are out here speaking loudly so everybody can hear us. Cry aloud. Go into the streets of the city where the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are who are the Israelites. Go in the streets of the city so that they can hear my word. That's what the God, that's what God is saying. Cry aloud, read. Spare not. He said, spare not. Don't spare nobody's feelings. Meaning, show them what the Bible say. Show them where they going wrong so that they can get themselves right. If they catch feelings, they get offended. It is what it is. You're speaking my word to them. That's Lift right. Lift up like voice like a trumpet. Lift up like voice like a trumpet. Is a trumpet, a, uh, is a trumpet loud or is it quiet? It's, it's a trumpet is loud. That's why we out here with a loud speaker. And even if we didn't have this loudspeaker, we'd be screaming aloud with our voice and you would be able to hear us across the street. Read. And show my people their transgressions. It says, show my people their transgressions. What is a transgression? Y'all know what a transgression is? My brother. Come on, come on. Jeremiah. DJ, right? Come on, come on closer. Come closer. What is a transgression? You don't know what a transgression is? Get, get that in uh, uh, first John, first John 5 and 3. Because that's what we out here for. Because a lot of our people don't know that the path that they own is wrong. But we don't know that. We don't know the things that we do day by day, 
day in and day out. Those things are wrong because it goes against the Bible. Read that. That's First right. John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. When you commit sin, you transgress the law. Transgress is another word for transgress is break. Right. Disobey. So when you commit sin, you're breaking the commandments. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. The breaking of the law. We are here to show our people the things that you're doing that's breaking God's commandments. Right. Read. Then it go back to uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 58 verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. Uh huh. In the house of Jacob, their sin. In the house of Jacob, their sin. Those are the things that we're bringing out. Right. How old? How do you? Thirty. How do you? Sixteen. Fourteen. How do you? Tiny. Twenty-one. Twenty. I, I don't know if I asked you already. Forty-four. So you th you say you're thirty. What was the name again? Levi. Levi. Divine. Y'all live out here? What's some things that go on? Give me Proverbs chapter 1. What are, what are some things that go on in Dalton? Bring it out. Y'all live in Dalton too? Uh, Jeremiah and DJ? Y'all live in Dalton? Yeah, we do right now. Y'all do right now? Yeah. How long y'all been living in Dalton? Just where you move from? Dubuque. Uh, Dubuque? Yeah. Where does that? That's Iowa? Iowa. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing happening there. Same thing happening here. Read that. Proverbs chapter 1 and 10. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee. So it says, my son, if sinners entice thee. Meaning if there are those that are breaking God's commandment, convince you to go and do some evil. Go and do some things that go against God's word. Read. Consent thou not. It said don't go with them. Don't consent with them. If you, if you, got, if you got some friends that's like, hey, let's go rob. Food for less. Let's go rob. Let's go stand on the. Let's go stand on the corner and we see the, the fifth car we see. Let's rob it. Right. Let's let's put it up at gunpoint and steal it. It said consent thou not. Don't follow after that. Read. If they say come with us, let us lay wait for blood. It says come with us and let us lay wait for blood. I mean let us. Hey let us. Hey let's let's go let's go over here on the block and rob these Negroes and shoot them, shoot them down and kill them. Lurk. Let us lay wait for blood. Lurk. Read. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. It says, let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Meaning going and standing in somebody's mother's backyard for the brother to come, and then when he come, you shoot him dead. Bring it out. That's what it means, lurk privily. You you had an evil plot to kill another brother. You lurk, you lurk privily for their blood. It says if they if somebody come up to, with you to do that, don't do it. But that's what goes on in the streets of Dalton. That's what goes on in the streets of Chicago. Amongst us. That, that's what that's evil. That's the evil that goes on in our community. Right. Read. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave. Let us swallow them up alive like the grave. Read. And ho, as those that go down into the pit. Read. We shall find all precious substance. He says we shall find all precious substance. I mean, they, they robbing, they stealing, they killing, they doing all these things to get game for themselves. But then yet again, they, they breaking the heart of a mother because they shooting a, shooting a uh, you got a 16 year old dying because somebody aimlessly shot him. Bring it out. Or he was just an innocent bystander that got shot by a bullet that was intended for somebody else. Right. Read. We shall fill our houses with spoil. It says we shall fill our houses with spoil. Is those, ain't those the things that go on in our community? We robbing, robbing other, we robbing, that's the crazy thing about it. We robbing a brother to look just like us. Right. We live right next door to each other. You can have your next door neighbor, you can have your friend that you grew up with. Right, just right, right still you grew up with the brother and the brother will set you up and shoot you in the back of your head. Bring it out. That's what this is referring to. That's how you know that this Bible is talking about us. Because these are the things that you see in the streets of Dalton, in the streets of Calumet City, in the streets of Harvey, Riverdale. Those things are going on out here just as well as it's going on in the city of Chicago. That's the evils that's going on in our communities. Some may say, well, you know what? They, they don't, you go in the white neighborhood, they, got, you know, they ain't doing what we doing. Right, bring it out. They, ain't, they are not doing what we doing. Bring it out. They, to no level are they doing what we doing. Read. Verse 14. Cast in thy lot among us. Say, cast in your lot among us. Hey, come join us in the evil that we about to go through. 
Go come join us. Go rob this. Go rob these dudes on the other on the other side of town. And then we can come back and, and can we we gonna split this for real. Let us have. Let us all have one purse. Let us all have one purse. Hey, let us go rob these dudes on the block. They they think they good. They riding around with twenties. They riding around on these twenty fours. Hey, let's go set them up. Let's go. Let's go watch. That's the alert privilege. Let us let us watch them for a couple of months. Bring it out, let us watch they. Let them. That's what our people do. We watch each other movements. We watch, we are standing and watch. Okay, okay, today, Monday, he took Sibley to work. You know what? Tuesday, he took 159th to work. Bring it up! And then the, same, the, the following Monday, hey, he took Sibley again. Then the following Monday, he took Sibley again. You know what? We gonna catch him slipping. Oh, uh, you know what? He go out and start his car at four o'clock in the morning every day. Right. So you know what? We, we, we see that's a pattern. We gonna go and rob him then. Right. And then we're going to split the sport. Whatever we get, we're going to split it. That's what goes on in the, in the streets of the city. Bring it out. Read. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. The Bible say don't walk in the way with them. Because that lifestyle is only going to lead you to in one or two places. Either death or in jail. Right. Bring it out. It's going to lead you to death or in jail. And those are the things, those are the things that we see in our community. Because who fill in the prisons? Who fill in the graveyard? Bring it out. Every other day, every other day, some, not even every other day, every day, somebody getting shot and killed. You look at the news, somebody getting shot and killed. And Dalton, Dalton is worse than, I used to live in Dalton. And Dalton is worse, waxing worse and worse and worse and worse. It's looking, it's, you look at the news, it's almost like the city. Bring it out. Because this is what's going on in our communities. Our young men are lurking privily plotting to do evil against their own brother that look just like them. That's going through the same struggles that they go through. Right. We all struggle. We all live in check to check. Right. Read it again. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. They say their refrain your foot from their path. Don't follow after that. That's evil. It's evil. What you, are you committing genocide on your own people, on your own race. What's the, what's the purpose of that? That makes no sense. We killing off our own generations. You killing off, now, and then to think about it, we do it, but then when it hit home to us, now, now the world, are, now all the world are. Or, better yet, when the police do it to us, now we want to riot and, and, and march and do all this, but you do it to yourself day in and day out. Bring it out. Where the march is at when when the black man shoot the black man down. Why we ain't marching about that? Right. No, I then it's, it. oh, snitches get snitches. No, I ain't that. Oh, we ain't no snitches. But when the, when, when the police do it, then it's a problem. Oh, you know what? We gonna raise here, we gonna, we gonna ride, we gonna tear down the community, we gonna tear this down, and then when we tear the community down, we tear down our stores that we gotta go to to right. get food. Right, right. That makes no, we are sick. We sick as a people. That's why we out here to show you the better way is to keep the commandments. That's right. Free. For their feet run to evil. So their feet run to evil. Meaning that's the, they live their life to do evil. Right. Read. And make haste to shed blood. And they make haste to shed blood. The quickest opportunity they get to shoot somebody, the quickest opportunity they get to stab somebody, that's what they gonna do. Read. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain. So, the, so are the ways of everyone that's greedy of gain. Those that are living in these streets and all they think about is, I gotta get money by any means necessary. If I gotta sell drugs, shoot my brother down and take the money he got, he did the money he worked, he would, my brother got his life right and now he work at a good job, he work at a steel mill, he making good money and he, I can see he making good money, I'm gonna go rob from him because I don't wanna go get a job, I wanna take what he got, I wanna go take what he worked hard for. Right. That's how, I, that's, how I, we, that's how we think as a people. That's sick. And the minute our brother get a, a business in our neighborhood, we don't want to support him. We want to we actually tear him down because we'll still go to Burger King, and our brother got a, bur a barbecue spot. We'll we we go every we'll go lengths and far lengths to not support our brothers and build up our nation. Bring it out. How you doing, sis? What's your name? Asia. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. My name is Simakaya. Uh, give me from there. Give me uh, Exodus chapter twenty-three and is it two or four. Because these these are the things that that we have to 
correct and get right so that we can see our communities come up out of the state that they use. Read. Exodus chapter this is one of the commandments that we must keep read. Exodus 23 verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. It says you shall not follow a multitude to do evil. What does that sound like? What groups of people are in our neighborhoods? What are we all, what are we heavily involved in? Gangs, exactly. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to be evil. You got the GDs going against the BDs. Right. The BDs going against the vice lords. Right. Vice lords going against the four corner hustlers. And we all look the same. And it make no sense. That's what I say. Then read it again. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. It says thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. When you see that gang, go away from them. Go to That's the right. way because they ain't going to teach you nothing but evil. They're going to teach you how to kill and rob your brother. They don't teach you how to sell drugs to your brother and kill your brother from the inside out. Bring it out These gangs ain't got nothing for us. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.